What is up there, Truth Seekers? This is your boy Ben, back here with the hottest raw tea that's going to shock your world upside down. Now buckle up, Raw Watchers, because the rumour mill is churning another doozy of a scandal tipped to detonate right in the heart of Prince Harry's beloved Invictus Games. If the whispers prove prophetic, we could be staring down the barrel of a Category 5 narcissism hurricane that the likes of which the disabled veteran community has never witnessed. Now, I know you guys are excited to hear more, but before I move on, I want to thank you for your love and support. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to press the bell icon. Let's get started. So now the latest explosive reports have the chronically spotlight-starved Meghan Markle allegedly angling to steal her hubby's entire hero athlete thunder at next month's 10th anniversary celebration of his passion project in the Netherlands. That's right, the coastal chameleon may be zeroing in on hijacking Harry's hard-won platform for putting the resilience of wounded warriors centre stage. I'll pause to allow a moment to pick your jaws up off the floor, an atrocity of this magnitude aimed at snatching the mic from some of the world's bravest souls who quite literally put their lives on the line would be a new low even for the insecure former D-lister. Then again, should we really be too surprised if Megan barrels forward with her usual selfish impulses and tries to make these hallowed games her own personal Megan extravaganza? This is the same narcissistic black hole of nepotism who has extensive track records of upstaging everyone from Baby Archie's debut to the late Queen's dying moments. Just ask any random Canadian how they feel about the Duchess of Deception's penchant for stealing the show at events she has zero organic connection to. According to veteran royal commentator Angela Levin, our neighbours to the north are already dreading the 2025 Invictus aftermath when the travelling Marco Palooza rolls into the homeland. In Levin's own words, outraged Canucks have been begging her to do something, anything, to stop Meghan's impending performance art ambush on their sacred disabled veteran festivities. A couple years down the road, their escalating outrage stems from Meghan's chronic inability to cede the spotlight to more worthy recipients, having witnessed her monopolising antics. To hear these increasingly vocal critics tell it Meghan simply cannot help herself when it comes to devouring any molecule of attention directed elsewhere, it's practically an impulsive bodily function. She comes over, she does a speech, she leads people down a path. They say she knows nothing about fighting in wars and it was Harry's job. It's how Levin summed up the growing Canadian consternation over Meghan's insatiable main character syndrome. Those are pretty brutal words. Let's be real, nothing would sum up the deluded Duchess's perpetual identity crisis better than her trying to steal the heroic hardware narrative from actual military veterans who've been through LED ambushes and tours of unspeakable hell, all because she can't control her diva antics. If that's indeed the case, Harry would be wise to keep laying down increasingly concrete boundaries, lest Invictus becomes the next ritualized sacrifice pyre to the Markle mushroom cloud of scandal. No one outside her diehard cult of psychophants wants the 10th anniversary celebrations usurped by some gaudy wowby humble spectacle where Meghan corps the proceedings through sheer entitlement. So what will happen next in the Sussex saga only time will tell. But we'll see you again for more royal news and analysis. Bye for now.